Hey everyone, welcome to physics. We're going to use Coulomb's law to solve for Q2. Uh, as a reminder, let's take a look at the formula there at the top and remember what the variables stand for. So F is for force. K is that constant K value. You're always going to be given it. You're never going to have to memorize it. Q1 is your first charge. Q2 is your second charge. And distance on the bottom there is squared. Please remember that squaring something and multiplying by something by two are not the same thing. So make sure you square distance. Let's take a look at our question here. It says the force between a pair of charges is 100 newtons. The distance between the charges is 0 0.01 meter. If one of the charges is 2 times 10 to the negative 10th coulombs, what is the strength of the other charge? Okay, so let's write our variables inside our variable box. They told us that force is 100 newtons. They told us that the distance between the charges is 0 0.01 meter. But we can't forget, we have to square that. So don't write that on the line. Square that inside your calculator. And when you do that, you are going to get that the distance squared is 1 times 10 to the negative fourth meters squared. And I'm just going to cross that off here so I don't accidentally look at it and use it and goof myself up later on. They told us that the first charge is 2 times 10 to the negative tenth. They're asking us what's the strength of the other charge. So I don't know what Q2, what the strength of that charge is. The other blank line there is that constant K value. Um, and I gave it to you at the top of the page. So 9 times 10 to the ninth. Okay, so now all we have to do is plug these into our formula to solve. So force is 100 newtons equals my K value, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th. times my first charge, my Q1, which is 2 times 10 to the negative 10th. And then my second charge, since I don't know what it is, I'm just going to put Q2. I'm going to divide by my distance squared, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 4th meters squared. So please remember to use parentheses, use the exponent function inside your calculator. It'll make it a lot easier to solve this problem. Okay, so you might be thinking to yourself, holy smokes, this is not good. I've got numerators, I've got denominators, my variables lost up in outer space. The easiest way to clean this thing up is to cross multiply. Under every whole number is an invisible number one. So the way to manipulate and move these things around, just cross multiply them together. So got some numbers in yellow here. We've got some numbers in green here. Just to keep it so that you're going to end up with your variable on the left, I'm going to put my green numbers on the left and my yellow numbers on the right. So I'm just going to rewrite everything before I start multiplying things. So 9 times 10 to the 9th goes here times 2 times 10 to the negative 10th. I can't forget my Q2 equals, and then my yellow numbers I'm going to write on the right there, 100 newtons times 1 times 10 to the negative 4th meters squared. And just so I don't lose it, I'm going to highlight my Q2 there just to make sure I can keep my eyes on it. Okay, this is a lot easier now because all you have to do is clean up the numbers on the left, clean up the numbers on the right, get yourself one number, and then you're going to um, plug that into your calculator. So what you want to do first is multiply 9 times 10 to the 9th and 2 times 10 to the negative 10th in your calculator. And when you do that, you're going to get 1.8. And when you, if you keep an eye on your units, you're going to see you're going to use a lose, excuse me, a coulomb. So this goes away, and this goes away. So you're going to have newtons times meters squared over a coulomb. 
and you have to pull down your Q2 here. On the right, if you multiply 100 newtons and 1 times 10 to the negative fourth, you are going to get 0 0.01. So 0 0.01, and you're going to have newtons and meters squared as your units. And again, I'm just going to highlight this guy so I don't lose it here. This is much better, much easier, much cleaner, and we're going to be able to plug this in our calculator with no problem. So what I want to do is get that second charge, that green Q2 by itself, and the way that I have to do that is I have to divide each side by 1.8. So divide this side by 1.8. All my units come with me. And I'm going to divide this side by 1.8. Again, all my units come with me. We're going to cancel out a bunch of stuff now. So this whole thing cancels. This whole thing cancels. All of these units are going to cancel. And if you notice, you're going to be left with coulombs, which makes sense because uh, that's the unit for charge. So I'm going to pull down my Q2 here. Equals. And when I take 0 0.01 and I divide by 1.8 in my calculator, I'm going to get 0. 0 0.0055 coulombs. And your calculator might give you that number in scientific notation. And if it does, that number in scientific notation is 5.5 times 10 to the negative third coulombs. So that top number there, that standard notation, and the bottom number is scientific notation. Either way, they mean the same thing, but just in case your calculator gives you one or the other uh, format, I just want to make sure you know that you got it correct.